Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life with the Claws Dynasty. Um, we are still in the middle of a Regency, sadly. Um, not much I can do about it, so let's just <laughs> get started. Let's try speed 3. Um, you know, not much has been happening because we are in a dynasty, uh, regency. Um, I guess the only thing of note is that we've gotten zealous and envious. Is that even worth mentioning? I don't think so. Um, so, since we're in the regency, I love getting questions to answer because nothing else really happens during the regency. And I got a question in the last video from Minor Ted once again. Thank you very much, Minor Ted. Um, if things keep going this way, I think we're going to have to take our relationship to the next level because you are being awesome with the questions. And they ask, what kind of games, <clears throat> excuse me, what kind of games do you like to play, do you like and play when not recording? Okay, so what kind of games do you like and play when not recording? Um... The games I usually play when I'm not recording are, not surprisingly, uh, Crusader Kings 2. I play a lot of that when I'm not recording. You know, I have my own separate games going, like, you know, ones where I'm trying to get, like, you know, achievements and things like that. Um, and then I also play a lot of The Sims. <clears throat> um... You know, I play a lot of The Sims 3 because I fiddle around with the Golden Girls house when I'm not recording, so there is a lot of that. Um, but mostly when it comes to stuff I play um, when not recording, it's usually stuff on consoles that I can't record. Oops. Um, if it's on PC, it's usually something... Like, most games on PC I want to record, <clears throat> I want to make videos in... Um, but, you know, I don't have a capture card or anything, so when it comes to consoles, those are the ones that I play when I'm not really recording. Um, and lately, I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age. Um, I just recently, a few days ago, maybe like a week ago now, uh, finished Dragon Age Inquisition. Great game. Um, and <clears throat> I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't want to... Uh, spoil anything but it's it's a fun game but it definitely is better if you've played the previous games I am gonna say that um, it, it doesn't do a great job explaining all of the lore and the connections that characters have um, so yeah just keep that in mind if you're gonna play it um, and after, I've also been playing a lot of Dragon Age Origins on my own because I know I have a let's play of that going um, but I also have what I refer to as like my canon game of Dragon Age, which is my own personal game where I transfer over the characters and whatnot. And when Inquisition came out, I did not... Oh, I got Cruel. Uh, when Inquisition came out, I lost Cruel, okay? When Inquisition came out, <laughs> as I've been trying to say, um, I... I didn't have any save games for Dragon Age, so when I played, I had to play... Um, and, you know, I could have gone to the Warden's Keep and figured all that out, but I just wanted to play. So I just played with whatever default stuff they gave they give you. Because uh, I just really wanted to play and see how everything worked and stuff. And it was fun. And so now I've gone back and I've started, you know, my own character. And I'm currently, for Dragon Age Origins, I'm playing the Awakening uh, expansion. And I have to say... Anyone who plays Dragon Age Origins has to play the... If they're going to get any DLC that's not, like, main story DLC, I strongly recommend getting the Awakening expansion because there's so much in the Awakening expansion that you can tell influenced Inquisition. It's, it's crazy. Like, I didn't realize it. Like, you know, you have... You have fade rifts. You have like dudes doing crazy stuff with the the veil. You have you know a court where you can 
pass judgment on people. You have a council of advisors. Like, there's all sorts of stuff that very obviously um, made it into Inquisition. Um, so, yeah, like, I was actually really surprised. And I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, uh, uh, steward. Yeah, let's choose you. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. Um, those are those are really what I've been playing mostly. Is a lot of Dragon Age. I'm sort of in a Dragon Age kick right now, and well, today I'm not going to record any videos, but I think I'm going to record some more of my uh, Dragon Age Let's Play over the week because I'm just you know, I don't know what it is. Um, I used to not like the Dragon Age universe, like it, when it came to Bioware games. I was all about Mass Effect for so many years. Like, I loved Mass Effect 1, I loved Mass Effect 2, I loved Mass Effect 3. And I think I loved them so much because I liked them more at the time than, um, than, uh, Dragon Age because you could get through Mass Effect pretty fast when you were doing replays. You know, you could. And I did tons of replays for the Mass Effect series, all three games. Like, I just played through those constantly. And, you know, and I always... Dragon Age to me was always sort of on the back burner. It was always sort of... You know, the combat of Origins always wasn't that great. And so, like... And the story didn't hook me too much. Um, and there was lots of long stretches. Like... <clears throat> uh, I need a drink. You know, like... um the stuff with the dwarves always dragged on really long and of course there was that whole fade segment of the mage's tower and we'll get to all this stuff in my in my dragon age let's play um there was a lot of the game that sort of stretches and so i never really cared much about it but i don't know after after playing inquisition it totally made me way more interested in the story and it's made playing the first game much more enjoyable now that I'm in this mindset of actually really liking the story, really liking the universe, being very intrigued by all the stuff in the universe, and seeing, you know, that they seem to have had this plan. You know, <clears throat> a lot. I know a lot of people complain about Mass Effect 3 because, and Mass Effect 2 even, because um, the plot doesn't seem all that coherent when you think about it really hard like it doesn't seem like it seems like they did mass effect one and then they were like okay let's see what we can do for mass effect two and then let's see what we can do for mass effect three they seemed very separately involved right um but from what i from the feeling that i get it, it seems like they've had a lot of this story for dragon age planned out um at least the main storylines and you can see that like in in Dragon Age in Awakening they're setting up plots for um Dragon Age 2 I'm not going to spoil anything but that you can in the background there's plots developing about things and you can see that this whole you know subplot that goes through Dragon Age 2 and ultimately culminates in Dragon Age or Inquisition, like it's all there, and I find it that very interesting. Uh, Knights of St. John, cool. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I think I'm only gonna record this this one video today because my voice is going all sorts of nuts. I'm sorry for rambling. Um, but yeah, I like I love Dragon Age now. Like it's become one of my favorite series of games, um, despite its flaws. <clears throat> what was the original question? <laughs> right, okay, what kind of games do you like and play? Not recording. I think I answered that question, right? Did I answer? I think I did. And as usual, I'll give a more concise answer in the description below if you couldn't really follow my <laughs> my rambling. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy Dragon Age a lot. Um, is there any other games I play? You know, I usually binge with games. Like, I know some people can play, like, little bits of lots of games. But I binge mostly. I just go, like, you know... 
this game, you know, I play this game and then I beat it. I play this game and I beat it. So I don't usually go back to games. Um, I probably at some point will be going back to playing more Mario Kart um, and Smash Bros. Um, so, because I bought the DLC with all the new tracks and the new characters. Um, I bought the combo pack for that. So, like, in the first one it gave you, what was it, Link, Tanuki Mario, and Metal Peach? Pink Gold Peach, that's what they called it, right? Yeah, um... My Duke, the more I study the Lollard religion, the more I feel compelled to embrace it and to show you the wisdom that lies in these texts. <clears throat> oh god. That is not good. Lollard. Um, yeah, no. We are not going to have a Lollard around, right? Goodbye. <laughs> we're not. We're not doing that. No, sir. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, so I bought the, that DLC for Mario Kart, and I bought it as the combo pack, because you got a, you got a better deal when you bought that one, and plus, like, a, the past to the future DLC with, uh, the Animal Crossing stuff in it, and so when that one finally comes out, and I think that comes out either in February or March or something, I think, I'll probably go back to playing some Mario Kart and get that out of my system, um, so yeah, that should be fun. Um, and I'll probably also go back to playing more Smash Bros. Uh, once Mewtwo is given out. Um, which I don't know when that will be. Um, I hope that goes smoothly, because I know they're closing down the Nintendo Club. Club Nintendo, right? Which is how you got the... Uh, Mewtwo stuff as you registered your game so I hope that goes smoothly like I hope they don't mess that up somehow um so yeah <clears throat> waiting waiting for that so I'll probably go back to more Nintendo stuff once that comes out um so if anyone wants to play <clears throat> when that comes out um I think I have my friend code somewhere in my description uh on my YouTube page uh so if you want to add me and you want to play when that happens, let's 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 make it happen. Oh, I'm paused. <clears throat> Didn't mean to be paused. Um. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um. <clears throat> um. Yeah. You know, and and when it comes to games, it's uh like I said before. If it's on PC, it's probably something I want to at least give a shot at Let's Playing um, and just give a feel, see how it works. Um, as I mentioned before, my computer isn't too, like, super powerful. Um, you know, it's it's how I bought it from the store, you know. Um, and it, it works fine, but I, I do acknowledge that, like, you're not going to see me do any sorts of Let's Plays with, you know, AAA titles or anything like that. Like, like you're... You're not going to see me do any Grand Theft Auto <laughs> Let's Plays from my PC. Because I don't think it would do it justice. Like, I have to turn down the settings to get, uh, you know, some games to work okay even already. And I think for, for a lot of new games on PCs like Grand Theft Auto and like Dragon Age Inquisition and that sort of stuff, you, you really want the graphics cranked up if you're going to do a Let's Play on the PC for that. So... So you're never going to see me do that stuff in the near future. Maybe if I become popular enough and get enough ad revenue, <laughs> I can afford an amazing PC and stuff. But that's never going to... That's With the way my views are going right now, that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh no, I got gluttonous. That sucks. And it went away. Good. So, <clears throat> thankfully nothing horrible is going on during this Regency, and my Regent likes me, so that's good. Um, he is Greek, though, 
so I might end up turning Greek, which would be bad. But, you know, we'll find out. <clears throat> my father is still my my heir, which is so weird. And I have a half-brother now, and he's sickly. Aw, too bad. And I have a half-sister, too. I wonder... Nope. <laughs> I would arrange a betrothal, or try to arrange a betrothal, but I'm just going to wait it out. There's no point, you know? Do, do, do. You know, thinking of games... <clears throat> oh boy, I just sound like I went through puberty again. Thinking of games? Ugh. <clears throat> I'm... I'm... I think I'm I'm getting sick again. It's awful. It's awful, you guys. Um, before I address this, I have to I have to finish this thought. Um, I'm going back to school. Let's see. Today, recording it is Tuesday, February second, by the way. So I'm going back to school. <clears throat> My next semester of college starts again, February 9th. And I swear, it's every single semester of college, <clears throat> I get sick right at the beginning. And it completely fucks me for the beginning of school. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm <clears throat> out of energy, I'm tired, I'm late to everything. I can't focus, so I, I don't <laughs> pay attention in the first couple of classes. Which is kind of important, you know? Because you, you need to know... Cause, all the professors I've had sort of like are like, you know, they explain how the class works, and if you're not paying attention, you end up completely lost, and it's so awful. It's so awful, you guys. I hate it. I want my, I want my, um, immune system to be way better than it is. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> crusade for Jerusalem. Oh right, there was supposed to be a crusade at the end of last video, wasn't there? His, Ho His Holiness Pope Agatho II has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil caliph, oh boy, Jalaladin II, in order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of Mohammedan infidels. Jalaladin, that is a crazy name. God will grant the pilgrims remission of sins in heaven. Deus Volt. Uh, can we join? Crusade for Jerusalem, yes. <clears throat> Yay! I'm now part of the Crusade for Jerusalem. This is an interesting turn of events. <laughs> um, I'm not going to get the Crusader trait, obviously, but... You know, maybe... Oh, who's this? Nick. I conveniently have a courtier named Nick. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, yeah, he's a bastard. Right. Okay. That explains it. Right. He's a bastard, right? Like, let me... Can I... Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Sail away, my good sir. Do do. This is very. I did not think this would happen. Perfect. And it's probably going to be a complete and total failure. Like, I'm not going to get anything from it, right? Wait, you know what? No. We're not going to provide any soldiers right now. Go back. <laughs> I changed my mind. Because if I'm going to go crusading, you know, I don't have enough soldiers to really tip the balance in any way. Right? So, I'm probably not going to get anything from the war. So... I'm going to leave my soldiers home for now. 
and just wait until I age up, because really, there's no point in going to a crusade unless I can get the crusader trait, and I, I don't, oh, and there's my timer. You know, I don't want somebody else getting the crusader trait, and then, because I think he also has a claim on my titles. I think. I'm pretty sure he does. Where is he? He should be in my court. There he is, Nick Roud. He does. So, I don't want to make people like him more by giving him the Crusader trait. Anyway, that's it for this video, I think. Until next time, this is Dan Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Links are down below. And until next time, bye.